Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. If you guys are new, my name is JL and this is my lovely community where I get to share all things that I think are beautiful with all of you lovely people. If you guys are coming back, thank you so much for joining me again. For today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new, or at least new to me, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Halo, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo Liquid Highlighters. These are newer to me. I know they have been out for a while, so some of you may have heard about them before, some of you may have not, but I did not hear anything about them, and I happened to be in CVS yesterday, and I just decided to take a little stroll down the makeup aisle, and I saw these, and I was like, wow, these are amazing, and it said new, and it still says that they're new on the Wet n Wild website, so I do think that they only launched maybe a month or so ago, so they are still relatively new. So there are seven total in the collection, but I did only pick up two. I am not a Jackie Anna's level yet, even for drugstore stuff, I need to be able to test it first to see whether or not it's worth me going back and buying all of them. But I thought that if I just picked up two of them and kind of showed you guys, it could let you guys know whether or not it's worth your time to go and pick them up. If you hear anything in the background, I'm sorry. I have my computer here with me today and it's making some noise. And also, as most of you know that have been with me before, I do live in a city, so you may hear some traffic in the background. Or you may hear my dogs at some point. It's just what happens. We roll with it. We keep it going. So on the website, it says, Intense is the name of the game with its buildable liquid highlighter that delivers a multi-shimmer glow thanks to its shimmering pearl pigments. The hydrating formula is infused with powerhouses like Muru Muru seed butter, grapeseed oil, and vitamin E to help smooth out the skin's texture. You'll look radiant even after a sleepless night. So it's supposed to be these really great liquid highlighters. Um, they've become bigger and bigger in the past few years. Cover FX obviously is, you know, kind of one of the biggest in the name in the game really for doing kind of liquid highlighters cover effects a lot of people are using um for Sally. there's a lot of different brands that do their liquid highlighters um and so now wet n wild has their own out i think that uh make a revolution has some out there are a bunch of different affordable options and this is just one of them so we're going to go in i picked up the shades 305A Rosy and Ready, which is this very pretty rose gold shade. And then I picked up the shade Gilded Glow 306B. There was one called, I think it was called a Bronze Goddess or something like that. And I was super um, leaning towards that. But based off the color selection that they had in the store, it looks like it may have been a little bit too dark for me to use as, as a highlighter. I could have been wrong because I didn't get to actually test them out yet. But I thought that these two would be good kind of options for me to start off with. So we're gonna start off by just looking at these. So we're just gonna start off by looking at this rose gold one. Um, it looks like this little cute bottle. It is glass, so that's really nice. It's really nice packaging, and I think it really like ups the game for Wet n Wild. I really like that. I will say because it's glass, be careful, especially if you're on like tile or hardwood. If it drops, you don't want it to break, but they do seem relatively durable. And it comes out like this. It is super pretty right off the bat. Um, yeah, it looks like you get a lot of products in here. It looks like you get 0.5 fluid ounces, which is not bad for this little bottle. And you're only paying, they retail for $4.99, I believe, or $5.99, so it's like six bucks. That's really nice. So we're gonna head and just do a first initial swatch. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I wanna lean back here so you guys can kind of see that. Look at how pigmented that was, and that was just one swatch, wow. It's really pretty. Um, it literally looks like one of those Instagram videos that you see where people are advertising their highlights and they just kind of swatch it and it just like keeps on going. It's really nice. I'm not seeing a lot of chunks of glitter because I don't like highlights that are super glittery. I like them to just look very pearlescent. So this definitely use that pearlescent pigment type vibe that you get from like um, Becca Cosmetics or brands like that. It def definitely took some notes from there. Let's see how it looks when it blends. Oh my god, it's so creamy and smooth. It almost feels like I'm blending on oil. Like it's not thick, it's not chunky, and it just, it blends out so nicely and naturally. Look at that, can you see that? Wow, that is gorgeous. That would probably look really pretty on your eyes too. I'm here for it. I'm super here for it, oh my god. So that was really nice, let's try out 306B Gilded Glow. This one is promising to be a little bit more golden, a little bit more bronzy, so let's see. Gilded Glow, I wonder if that's like a shout out to Gilded Honey from Laura Geller. 
So again, right off the bat, super pretty. This is honestly calling my name because I live for these golden highlights. They're just so pretty. All right, so let's go. Ooh. Ooh. This actually reminds me of the Cover FX um, color drops, like the pigmented liquid highlights that I use. I like to put them under my foundation sometimes. I'm wearing it under my foundation today, which is why my skin already looks glowy, though I don't have any actual highlights like on top of all of my other makeup. Um, but yeah, I really am here for this. This is so pretty. Again, you see, it's just like a nice light golden color. It's like a really pretty kind of natural bronzy gold. Oh, I love that. Okay. It reminds me of Prosecco Pop a little bit from Becca Cosmetics. Like if it was in liquid form, I'm kind of getting that that vibe. Um, almost maybe Champagne Pop. No, I think it's a little bit more Prosecco Pop. Okay, let's blend it out. Again, it feels like I'm just blending out like a face oil. I don't feel any chunks. I don't feel any like gunkiness. It just feels super smooth and creamy. And I can tell it's definitely like melting right into my skin. And I know my <laughs> my ring light is definitely making this super beamy. But like the closer I bring it, it's crazy. But if I bring it back here, you can see it just is such a nice sheen. And it definitely gives, I mean, this is a lot of product on my hands, but it definitely gives that glowing from within vibe, which I think is absolutely outstanding. So, wow, that's gorgeous. Okay. I know I should probably put the pink one on my cheeks just for fun, but I... That gold is calling my name, so I think I have to go ahead and pick up the gold and try this on. I'm like scared. <laughs> I'm afraid it's gonna mess up. Okay, let's see. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is beaming. Okay, I'm gonna take a beauty sponge and just blend this out. Let's uh see how well it blends. I'm nervous it's not gonna blend out and it's just gonna be a little bit much because I think I applied a lot. I did apply a lot, but woo, woo, girl, that is <laughs> that is a lot. Oh man, uh oh. You know it's okay. We can totally work with this. I kind of want to put another highlight on top of it. Is that bad? Look at that. Oh, that is gorgeous. It does look really pretty. It does. It's it's like really nice and you can totally see the difference <laughs> between the two okay i guess i will actually try the rose gold one on this side just to see okay maybe i'll put a little bit less this time though rose gold yeah definitely you don't need a lot because as you can see when i did that like slightly larger streak on my the other side of my face it was ridiculous okay whoa this one is calling my name i actually i don't know which one i like more i think i might actually like the rose gold one a little that is shocking i think i actually like the rose gold one a little bit more maybe just with like my makeup for today it just looks so i think it's also because there's not as much <laughs> and even though i do love a beaming highlight sometimes you want you just don't want anything too too crazy Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with the rose gold again, the rosy and ready. And I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose and like a dot because I think I've learned my lesson. Like a little, little teenser, little teensers there, little Jackie Ina teensers. Like a dot here and like, uh, there we go. I could totally see myself like being on a beach in the summertime and just looking like glistening and glowing and I'm here for it. I am extra though so I'm going to add another Wet n Wild highlight on top. I'm going to just take my little Morphe brush and apply some highlight over top of everything and just see how it all blends together. I'm just going to go in with the, the rose gold as a theme for the day, I guess. I love rose gold. It's one of my favorite colors. So I'm super jazzed about this. I think this looks amazing. I am feeling myself like so much in case you couldn't tell because even my Cover FX highlight, I kid you not, 
it still has some like sparkle to it like I noticed that I, it looks like I have sparkle on my face and this I don't see this at all I don't see sparkle at all I just see glow and that's what I love about Becca so much is that all of my Becca highlights they don't look sparkly they just look like I'm glowing from within and, they, and I get so many compliments when I wear them and this side like I said is extra beamy but this just looks so nice and natural and like on this side of the face and it just brings out such a beautiful overall glow and look so your girl's here for this I'm super here for this so if you guys decide to pick these up I highly recommend it like I said they have seven total in their collection so these are just two shades that worked really well for me but they have super super fair shades and they even have deeper shades so this should work for a long long array of skin tones if you guys have any questions about it that you may not be able to find yourself that you want to know if I can find for you let me know in the comments down below I really hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a great experiment for me I'm so happy I know this was a really short one but I just wanted to get this review up for you guys make sure that you guys give this video a big thumbs up you know comment down below chat with me let me know if you've tried this out let me know if you like it if you do that'd be great give me some recommendations and suggestions for other ball on a budget type um makeup items also make sure to turn on your notifications let me know if you're part of the notification squad already that way you can always know when i have a new upload i will be having a lot more coming your way very soon so yeah and also make sure to check out my previous video i think you guys will really appreciate that one as well Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye my loves.